anybody who wants to seek God, wants to know the way of God. In, that was an order in that time. Anybody who wants to know anything about God, you got to go to this one man called Enoch. Why? Because he carried the testimony or the glory of God while he was living in the earth. Today, the glory of God is fabricated with spotlights, disco lights, smoke machine. We change our voice, our tone. Thus says the law. And then we move in some kind of, we try to fabricate the glory of God. Enoch, he didn't have to do any of those stuff. Do you understand God is going to work with you in that manner? That he want to transfer his glory into you. When you come, you don't have to explain to people that you are a son of God. You don't have to explain to people you are a messenger from God. Your countenance itself will show them not to mess around with this person. And people blindly follow Enoch. They know this is not an ordinary man. There was a hype in the city, in the town. So he, he ordered it to be proclaimed in, in all places where the sons of men dwell, saying, Where is the man who wishes to know the ways of the Lord and good works? Let him come to Enoch. They spread this news. And all the sons of men then assembled to him. For all who desired these things went to Enoch. So anyone who is lost, looking for God, they need to find this movement of God in the earth, carries God in his life. Went to Enoch. And Enoch reigned over the sons of men according to the word of the Lord. What did he do? Enoch reigned over the sons of men according to the word of the Lord. And they, became, and they came and bowed to him and they heard his word. They came and bowed down to him. Why? They can't explain. Because Enoch was carrying the majesty of this infinite God. And mankind could not recognize. They just bowed down before. Those who bowed down before him were not ordinary people only. They were royalty. They were uh, uh, kings and rulers. They came and bowed down before Enoch. And the Spirit of God was upon Enoch. The Spirit of God was upon Enoch. And he taught all his men the wisdom of God. What he taught? The wisdom of God. What was hidden in the mystery? What was hidden? What is not seen by the general uh, population or public who are trying to seek God? Cannot. You won't see. You, God will never give access to anyone to enter into his mind. But God gave the access to Enoch. And the Spirit of God was upon Enoch. And he taught all his men the wisdom of God and his ways. And sons of men served the Lord all the days of Enoch. As long as Enoch was there in the earth as a representation of God, these people served God faithfully. We need such movement in the earth. That today everyone will learn to stand faithfully and serve God because on account of faithful people like Enoch. And they came to hear his wisdom. Verse 9. And all the kings of the sons of men, all the kings of the sons of men, both first and last, together with their princes and judges, came to Enoch. When they heard of his wisdom and they bowed down to who? To Enoch. And they also required of Enoch to reign over them to which he consented. Raja one day, a king coming to a son or an operation of God, a man of God says, please rule over us. <laughs> Do you think our government can come to the church and say this? Our so-called apostles and prophets, you think a nation can come and say, please govern us. That's why we are still far from knowing who God is. There isn't any operation like God in the earth, like Enoch in the earth yet. 
where government come and say you tell me what to do i'll do it because namada madama maayidu ve that's why we never listen we are not supposed to be a religion we supposed to be a revolution saritram padikkanu devudaya arasangama maaru then and the example in all 130 kings and princes and they made enoch king over them and they were all under the his power and command men men of god ah so men of god and enoch taught wisdom knowledge and the ways of the lord and he made peace among them and peace was throughout the earth during the life of enoch i told you unless the church repents and come back to the word of god there will be no peace in the earth there will be no peace the body of christ in the earth must subject itself to the 66 book and then you will see peace for the first time in the earth and he not reign over the sons of men 243 years and he did justice and righteousness with all his people and he led them in the ways of the lord i think i have to stop here there's so much of stuff i need to do another uh, session but let me conclude so what are we seeing here what are we seeing sabe epdi irukno or kristam epdi irukno bible la thukki irukra epdi irukno na now this is nothing to do with religion god gave 66 book to all mankind any man any any man women or a young person take this 66 66 books and start to study go after the heart of god when reading and the spirit of god will make that person to become his house and then through that operation god will move and god will bring peace in the earth there will be restoration in the earth there will be order in the earth the world cannot give you peace peace is only found in christ christ is the creator of heaven and heaven and the earth he has given us the power to be part of him through the 66 books if you are a wise person you will devote your life to enter into the 66 book and draw this glory of god into your life where rulers kings nobles will come to you and say show me the way show me the way today this is the mandate of the true church this is the mission of the true church but we are not doing We are so busy with Easter, bunny rabbit, rabbit Christmas tree, and this and that, dance, singing, and donation, charity, and we lost track. We lost track. We need to come back authentic. We need to be serious. So the key word here: what happened to Enoch? Enoch walked with God, and he he was no more. The whole Christian world, we are thinking that he was taken here. I I want to save this for the next. He walked with God. The more you walk with God, you will lose your identity. The more you walk with God, you will lose your identity. The more you walk with God, you will lose yourself. The I will disappear. The I am will take over. He not walk with God and no more. He not was no more, but God was operating in him. In the earth. I don't know how people taking this teaching but I think that's the context of why God placed this book inside there for us that you and I must learn to walk with God and no more that means Michael Logan disappears Christ appears in this body and operates it here so we will continue further on this subject we'll continue and stay tuned if you have any questions please write to us we will post our email address there Uh, if you are not in a disag- if you are if you are completely disagreeing with us god bless you uh, uh, i pray that god will give you the insight and depth and power of discernment for you to understand those who are capturing what being spoken here in your spirit god bless you for you will learn how to enter into the mysteries of god within within the, the three months to six months you just submit to the word of god you will see what i'm speaking that means you see what i speak things will happen the subject that i'm teaching i'm sharing i'm speaking is not against any religion and not against christianity 
but I have the right to speak all the misalignment of Christianity so that we all can come back to the word of God. I pray the body of Christ will become one of the greatest movement of God in the earth. You and I, the corporate sons, people have accepted the 66 book. You and I become the house of God and the place that need to manifest God. So thank you very much and stay connected.